these old terminals that are terrible and you want something like very new with the display so that way you can see the voltage of the battery and everything so I'm going to show you a step by step how you can replace them. So as you can see we're going to untight uh, this in this case we're using 10 sometimes it's 10 sometimes it is 8. Now what you have to do is you have to try to cut the other cable so uh, what I try to do is remove uh, all the sheathing that you see and I try to leave the as much cable as possible because if you cut it sometimes it, depending on the car the cable is so short that you cannot you cannot reach it so in order to avoid that I try to leave as much cable as possible and that's it so as you can see now I'm going to strip it a little bit and that should be enough to make it work and put the connector here as you can see we have the negative so we are going to put it just like here so you cannot put it in the wrong place usually they have the different sizes so we're going to put this here the other one in one of these and that's it so now uh, you have to use the key that it comes with this uh, kit as you can see is the allen uh, wrench if you have some of some of those you can use that and uh, try to use the smaller uh, hole for the smaller cable and for the biggest cable you use the biggest uh, hole uh, otherwise <laughs> it will not uh, fit uh, uh, properly but in this case it was very easy and um, i'm doing this show in a uh, geometro so the way uh, i can know if the battery is low or anything like that, just by lifting up the, the hood and, and that's it. You don't have to use the multimeter. Uh, otherwise, you have to have the, you know, the multimeter handy every time you have to do something like that. Now, you put the cover um, on top of this. Uh, usually, it's this acrylic cover. So that way, you don't have any shorts or anything like that. And then I would recommend to do uh, that uh, at least in both. I mean, if you can. Otherwise, you can do you can do it just in the positive. That will be the, the main one. The rest one is no big deal because uh, you are going to have ground in the, with the rest of the the car. If it's touching, let's, let's say the hood is touching that, yeah, it's going to touch you know the the ground that is already in the whole chassis of the whole car. So make sure that you tie it uh, properly. Yeah, at least with this kit, it came with the um, like uh, with the shims. So the way you can, uh, if if you have a terminal that is so small or it will not uh, be tied uh, uh, properly because it's too big or something like that, uh, you can do that. So it depends on what you have. So as you can see, it comes with many. Um, um, uh, 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 key, you know the Allen key, and that's it. So here uh, we're going to do exactly the same thing as I did with the other one. It's just removing the the sheathing, so all the plastic or whatever it comes with it, you remove it. I'm using some cutters, so if you want to buy everything, I, I try to leave it in the video description. If you're outside of the United States, you may to send it to you. I can do that as well. Just contact me. I can I can do that uh, for you. And here, as you can see, I'm using the multi-tool. So with the multi-tool, so that way I can cut the, the old terminal and I can use as much uh, cable as possible. Like I said before, if you can try to, you know, uh, utilize every inch available in the cable, uh, that will be your best bet. Otherwise, like I said, depending on the, of the, of the car, sometimes uh, the, that is very tight. So in this case, it's kind of tight. But you know that is the the way it is. Um, so otherwise, if you have a grinder, maybe like an angle or a grinder, like a little one, yeah, you can use that as well. So in this case, I'm using this because this is what I have a handy, and um, that's it. So you have to do it, you know, with patience because it may take a, it may take maybe 15, 20 minutes, <laughs> depending on the, the difficulty. But as you can see, I was able to to remove it uh, pretty well and now I'm going to use the pliers just to remove the, the rest of the um, uh, part of the, the connector that was over there. So 
Uh, be be gentle with the cable. <laughs> there we go. I just got the, the last piece. Uh, that's it. So now I have the cable. And now just twist it. Put the, the connector. And this should be easy. Now you can remove the the other connector and that's it. So I, I keep uh, I kept it on the battery because otherwise if you try to use it, you know, you use your hand, it's going to be more difficult to keep it in and cut it and, and other things. And in this case, same thing as the other one. So in this case, it's a, a, this connector is a little bit uh, different. It comes with two cables. So the positive and the negative. The, the negative is the black one. The positive is the um, a, a red one. So what you have to do is use the, the red one. You just uh, loop. Um, you just connect it with itself with one of those uh, little holes. And then yeah, I was using here um, a piece of cable so that way I can connect the, the black one to the chassis of the car and that is how it works. Uh, so it doesn't come with much cable, uh, with much uh, length so the cable is not that long. As you can see here I, I had to do that and I had another device next to it uh, so that way I, I was able to connect it as you can see as, as soon as I connect the black with black everything starts working just fine. If you want, you can use one of those connectors or maybe you can use like the red one that you saw or you can use um, maybe electric tape or something like that. So here have one of those uh, round connectors. So all you have to do is you have to crimp it in one end, in the other end, twist the cable and that's it. And you will work just, just fine. Make sure that nothing is exposed. Otherwise you're going to have a, some kind of short circuit and that is not going to be good so as you, as you can see i'm having like 12 something now i have a special pliers uh, that is the cream cream pliers is very cheap at least here i think i paid maybe ten dollars or something like that you can get it on hardware freight otherwise and like i say i can try to leave you the link and if you're outside of united states but you may not have any of these things so let me know i'll send I'll send it to you. Uh, here we are putting the, the cover back and that's it. So that is all you have to do in order to make it work. And also uh, something that I use, I, I forgot to put in the beginning, is the red, uh, it's like a red circle. Uh, so that way it will help you, you know, to identify very quickly once you have a, a, the battery because it comes with two a circle of things, one black and another. One is green for um, the ground, and the other is the black. I mean, the other is the red one for the for the positive, and that's it.